Good morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. It's actually kind of a cool fall day here. All right, so we have new data, and it's not going to... The map's basically not going to work right now. At least the after generation part of it's not going to work right now. Because the data doesn't look anything like it. Like it's uh, okay. Well, bounds being undefined is a problem. Maybe it's not even that good. Oh geez, I must have come with something out. Let me uh, look at the other computer. All right, well, uh, we may have to skip trying to process that. Well, we work on, it's not biomes, it's spawns. Spawn changes. <clears throat> uh, instead of, is that instead of biomes? Because I don't really need anything besides the biome numbers. Okay, so <laughs> upper dot bounds. I mean, this is actually a little bit of a separate uh, promise stream. I don't think. There's grid placement, <clears throat> wrapper biome. So this is this is a different thing. All right, so spawn changes. Hmm, don't want to delete this quite yet. So I might need some different data structures here. So this is gonna be a version, essentially. Uh, where are we going with this? Mm. Yeah, that's gonna kind of replace, replacing this whole thing, really. So a version ID, I guess I am going to have to have a table of this where I kind of figure out my dates. Uh, so for now, mm, I'm also going to need to iterate that. I don't know if I need to look up versions per, by version number. So this is going to be something like, now, well. 
Uh, oh, did I send actual int in this case? Mm. So these are changes. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to want to build up a like a complete uh, version of what was here at this time, which I'm going to need at least a temporary. Uh, well, something like biomes. <laughs> Biome.objects, which was a thing we had in our old list. Which, which we think we... I kept around. Uh, oh no, that. Yes, yeah, static old. So objects ID map chance and moving, which we have those properties with. Hmm. I included moving in this right. Uh oh. I forgot to move that forward. Well, that's another one. That's another run update. I got left blocking radius. Investigation here. I wrote the code for it, and forgot to check for the actual output. No, not public. That's an entry point. Uh, actually, main processor might be doing. Do sprites, do sounds, export objects, export biomes. Maybe it doesn't load that information until it does objects? And before we did biomes after objects? No, because spawns at the bottom of our file. <clears throat> uh, no, we probably got our, like, our, our local test. Maybe it was working here. It's not working there. We're mainly looking at that one. No, that's not looking good. 
Uh, all right, so if we did biome, this was working. And that was just this dot objects. Add objects. Biome count, import biomes. Each file in dir objects. Biome that apply ground heat. Hmm, interesting. I think it's something I don't have right now. Is natural. Yeah, so where the heck do we get? So biome, we, at that point we had that information. Can move, can move. Transitions away. So where are we loading? of transitions away, sort. Not decay. It's, well, that's the JSON data output of game object. Move type, move distance. There's my floor removal thing, which we still have that, I think. Yeah, so that's a transition. Uh, was maybe I wasn't working with objects. Okay, so this is actually, what's a moving object? Well, I need to know what version it was in. Uh, no, I think I actually had names in there at one point and then I took them out because... Oh, actually the, um, the versions had that. And also, I did end up renaming this. Because everyone had the actual version directories. I guess I might have to rebuild these now. Uh, put JSON. All right, localize this directory. So these, I think I left the names in for debugging purposes. Hmm? Right, it's actually, move, like Mouflon is the, well, how about wolf? Attacking wolf. It spawns as an attacking wolf, huh? Mouflon? Yeah, you don't move. 
So why are we missing that? So that's where we like reload them. Uh, we need to actually export spawn changes. This is probably still under export versions. Version.json data. Map change set to spawn changes. Or commit. Okay, so that is the things that. Oh, that's for ch oh, well, that is changes. I might have to do. That wouldn't be an object property; it's a transition property. So if moving got changed, we wouldn't see that. Removed objects, object spawn data, and biomes is clearly working. Well, <clears throat> What was our test setup? Uh, I need to I need to synchronize myself here. Now I need to undo all that stuff so I can actually run it here. Uh, maybe it'll be easy to keep that easier to keep that stuff separate. Uh, all right, so we have. We need to make sure we never do that. We need and then we're not able to reference that object. And we're not going to have bounds. All right, for versions, uh, how'd it go? It was like, zero take, I, don't know, I think five is actually, well, I need, I need a moving object. 
So what was my most recent moving object? Maybe I need to go back to the beginning. Uh, this is actually really obnoxious. Uh, you know, I have a that was actually yes, the, the preview uh, should work better for that. Uh, gooseberry rock stone, wild carrot. There's regular old wolf. Oh, and what version is that? 33. That might be within 10 of the beginning. So if we did do... Does this not have 33? Why did I end up with different data here? I mean, the wolf makes a lot more sense, but that's still pretty weird. Uh, but the wolf is like specifically a moving object, so I guess I have to figure out why that's not appearing if it's, if that's the case. Oh, um, well, you know what, it, this does process some missing versions. So I could probably just use, oh, and that static edge. Don't need to do things twice. <clears throat> I guess I need to get some output going. Figure out why the heck things are going weird here. <laughs> and why the heck we're missing Wolf? What the heck? That's the that comes with the changelog version. If it exists, from there we're down to the version JSON data. Is 
is a relevant commit and commit spawn changes. No, that's filling out the object table. I don't remember. Oh no, this is a for each to fill those out. Data that spawn changes equals. Uh, so what we want to do is rm public static edge Gino the Noom thank you for following me glad you liked me like watching me find weird stuff. I, uh, I don't think particularly notable at the moment. I was trying to. Uh, oh God. Uh, would that be something like no wait there was nothing. Oh, uh, uh, okay, so that, that was unreleased. Uh, wait. That almost looks like it got doubled. So that was actually spawn changes. Okay, so there was changes to multiple things. So it seems like things ended up getting processed in a slightly different order on this computer. And then we're like overwriting the wolf with Piggy or something. I don't think I have Piggy on the other one. Okay, so other other interesting thing here. Uh, not public. Is she not source? And I'll get there.
So this is the run up to 33. Of course, maybe I'm not usually processing it in isolation like this. Well, there is a there is a split there. I wonder if Git is processing it differently. Of course, these are all numbers, so it's hard to tell. Well, that's not the name of. Well, I know from my other file, what is that? 418 is Wolf. Uh, so we can see if that shows up in any of these. Okay, so you got some animation changes. Negative one is probably the, the move transition. So I need to figure out Yeah, he he lumped some other oh berry bushes proved wolf death transitions. Oh, still scrolled over. Wolf hat. Yeah, 418, 417. Animations. Dying shot wolf, wolf, shot wolf. Maybe stop. Maybe started with the wolf well, hat. I don't know. Attacking wolf. Attacking shot wolf. Dying shot wolf. Map chance. Nope. Oh, nope. Map chance, dying shot, wolf zero. Oh, a four eighteen was indeed piggy. So we have like a processing order issue here. Uh, or maybe this is cut. This is supposed to be coming through as a change. Well, okay, I haven't. Uh, Wait, 418 had ID 417 in it? Oh, he was like copying files. Or maybe Git's detecting it as a file copy. Yeah, because it looked so much like 417. Uh, rename, copy from. So he actually deleted 417. And Git made it look like an object change in the log. I wonder if that's affecting how it shows up to the to that. So it's still showing up as so this might be like a difference in our Git versions. If it's using just using the command line directly. So that's two, two, one. That's two, sixteen, two. Hmm. So this actually looks like the newer one. Or maybe it's like a uh, file directory traversal issue.
Still, if it ended up at 418, it should. Why the heck is that not actually getting a, appearing in our in our process here? Uh, you know, I'm not even going to be to you for a while. So this is really a problem. Uh, I don't know if it is relevant or if it's the spawn changes. Data version, okay, so that's for the final version we put out, but that's for a commit. Huh? No, I'm looking at... Wait. Irrelevant commits. Spawn changes attached that commit. It, this is the version. Well, that's that's. Oh no, it's relevant if it's not one of those. Okay. Added objects, removed object, object changes. Is natural. What does this break down to? Do windows. I probably needed titles on those. There's going to be a bunch of different commits. For some reason, everything's getting assigned to the old object ID. Or it's detecting that that is... And I, mean, I did tweak with some stuff, but it also just ran different on the different computers. Now this might be too deeply nested. I may also have to do some summary information on this. I need to know when named and ID'd things happen. 
And when changes happen, probably. Uh, I don't really need the after for that. Well, that's too deeply nested. Uh, it doesn't give me names. Maybe the assignment of after is messed up? Okay, so added 420, 21. Maybe this one has made it look like a change instead of a Added four seventeen. What the heck? Is it processing these backwards and sort of seeing? Like the fact that it got changed to mean this got added? What the heck? Mode equals add. Oh, I did do some more lookup object by path. So I need Pars object change. What the heck are you going off of? Yeah, get file changes. Uh, edit objects. Because that should not be an addition. Of 417. Well, unless it was an addition of 417 in another one of the commits. But I don't see why that would wipe it out. Oh. Okay, so in this test set, we did add 417. Now, why does that block? Okay, 417 got turned into Dying Shot Wolf, which had a map chance change. This doesn't give us the add remove. Throwing around. So this might actually be a problem with the way I'm merging everything together. Because really all I care about is kind of the, well, Yeah, maybe I'm not properly handling multiple changes to the same object. And it ends up being determined by the order they're processed in. 
still, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be 417. Wait, uh, I didn't hit save. Uh, terministic git processing. Okay, so this is already lines. We see an add of 417. It might get lost in here. Bunch of modifications. So I would need to manually print this out to see everything. The newer one... <clears throat> I don't know why it's our rename 058. Uh, this is mode equals a d m. <laughs> so the newer git has a rename mode. Admittedly, that is not a specific issue because I'm not running it there, but uh, is that just a this.git? This might be like a library thing. Version.git. Constructor uh, change log has a git. Uh, git is a well, that's dot slash git. File changes name status. Is there an option to not list those? Turn off rename detection. Uh, and this is a diff command. That's the only place he uses that. So it is an array. Because for our purposes, we don't really care that it got renamed. We want to see an object removed and an object added. I mean, it's also possible. I haven't. I forked this a little, a little while ago. Mm, you know what? If I <laughs> last.
must commit. Yeah, April 12th, it's been a while. Okay, none of these are, I mean, who knows when that what change went into Git. Hey, look, we've got a wolf. We, we still have the problem with, we don't have, um, moving. What version? I can't do a rename. No, I mean, I really need like a GitHub blog. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's GitHub. Uh, and we're actually considerably farther than that. So we'd be back in anywhere from 1.2 to 1.16. <laughs> oh, wait. And apparently, or no, it was it two? Uh, oh, maybe it's not showing the entire, okay, there we go. Yeah, anywhere from 2.2 to 2.16. With lots of point releases. I mean, that would be a feature change. Oh, it's not, it's sorted alphabetically. So, yeah, that would be kind of a pain to figure out which version that showed up in. All right, anyway, what I really want to do right now, uh, we've got all these local changes. Uh, okay, so change log commit. And actually, we know it's in Git. Oh, we can clean up some of that stuff. Super in process. Uh, and then, so that's the changes for there. Uh, change log commit. We had a bunch of debugging stuff, which we still need to get into somewhat, but. That is change log commit. Uh, 
I don't, we're gonna need exactly those things. Um, we know that 33 is still a moving object got added. So now the question is, why are we not seeing the transitions on that? Uh, so we need the spawn changes of the objects. Oh, I need to, I need to want a quick report of what's happening. All right, so now when we run, and then we can then we can start digging into. All right, so that is that. So we've solved the Git mystery. Well, we think it's the Git mystery. Uh, uh, hmm. I guess it could have been a renamed transition as well, but I uh, still wait. Shouldn't that show up as removed? Oh, no, for yeah, 4.17. So I might have to look at, at the order we process things in here. If it got removed in the same revision set. Uh, which means we actually sort of need... Yeah, if it got removed in the same revision set... Oh, that means it got added and removed in the same revision set. So we build up an objects. Yeah, so the objects we're getting actually are quite relevant. So what are we getting out of this? Because I mean, within one set, well, I don't specifically handle added, I just make the, the, the changes just, I guess if it was removed in that revision set, then the changes don't matter. Or within that version set. Uh, The final set is, well, if we never saw it and ended up removed, that got processed in the right order. Wait. Well, okay. Or do we print this twice? Okay, that's all the changes. And then the final result is we see removed. So that gives us the right final result. Now, spawn changes is a commit thing. Spawn data. Uh, 
so presumably, we know that this is going to be false. Uh, this dot ID, this dot can move. Yeah. So our transitions are not defined for some reason. Oh, you know what? Because I'm rebuilding these objects from the version at that time. Uh, you know what, there was the whole thing where the original code, like, tried to use a, 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 a master object if possible. So for a transition thing, I mean, that might not be perfectly accurate at that moment in time, but generally I don't expect things to change their moving status. So where do we change that? This is data, that's code. Where did that used to be? It was in change log commit. And we wanted to get the properties of the object at that time. Uh, but if we've still got a this.objects, then I could get, go grab the final transitions from it. Uh, transitions towards, transitions away. I mean, we need transitions towards. Possibly there are other bits of data. Where, where does transitions get assigned? Okay, that's from the master objects.
this.actor.transitionsAway.push. So we do that by actually processing transitions. Uh, so this was commit, look up object, uh, legacy object. So I think I was using legacy objects as a cache. And we're doing file contact, building the new object, <clears throat> which these are all going to end up being legacy objects. Uh, and that was just this dot objects. Uh, good point. Should probably check it exists first. All right, and then this is locking up for console. Hacking wolf, wolf, moving true. Hey. All right. So change log commit, I think, is our only, so change log version we just don't need. Debugging. I removed a slice there I shouldn't have. Because I was taking out my modified slice. Game object. Didn't even see those outputs. Uh, so change log commit is the one we want. Definitely. I almost need some kind of switch to... <laughs> turn off sprite stuff. Uh, I mean, that kind of comes down to do sprites, but that's separate. All right. Uh, it's like this one can't run the sprite thingy, but download I don't want to. Well, I just don't force this on a download. 
for my for my purposes. Easy fix. Uh, this is a, a debug optimization thing, or a dev optimization thing, because it does th does everything twice. I might not have the sprite processor thing at load time. Main processor, which just straight up requires game data. Yeah. Now, this is process. I could cheat a little bit. Uh, and this will only matter if process sprites gets called. Hey, Bitst, how's it going? And we've got Bounds. Uh, do sprites? Uh, it had some weird things that are going to take up most of the day, but I think we're getting them nailed down. I'm just trying to streamline uh, switching off the fact that I can't run the sprite process on this computer or with the still wanting to run it on the other computer without having to like edit code back and forth all the time. Uh, but yeah, we had a, a fun little thing where the one tech code was using Git to track adds and removes and changes, and then the version of Git on this computer was also generating renames, which it did not handle. So my my wolves were showing up as piggies with the wrong object ID. Uh, well, you might just have a blank bounds. And it'll be a big empty array, but at least it'll exist. I probably got this open already. Uh, or maybe it's not one of these. Oh, this is static old. Yeah, so not terribly useful, but that should switch off when we process sprites.
That's not really a flag. All right. Uh, I do, however, have to go clear versions on that and then run it. Which unfortunately will take a minute. Probably it's a good time for me to take a break anyway. So I will try to get that running, refill water and stuff, and be back in a few minutes after we've got actual data. Again? <clears throat> so maybe it's an accident every time my mom is... Oh, that sounds so much better on this computer, too. Boy. I stole that from Porthos. I didn't make anybody jump through any hoops or anything like that for it, but I did steal it. This is a thing that allows you to convert polluted water into regular water. Uh, so this big pool of pee water, basically, is what we use for the main water of our base when necessary. We do have three coal generators here as backups. We're only down to nine tons of coal. I actually didn't have a natural gas geyser that I could find on this map. I explored the whole map like crazy, desperately looking for a natural gas geyser. Never found, not even. If I like aim the camera down at all that, at all of that, She's been, she's been coming into the room, hitting me, throwing things at me, and h hitting me with a whole bunch of things, and bringing me so much food. <sighs> ah, okay. Whew, good thing I won. <laughs> so uh, I got, I, I purchased this online. Do they have any nunchucks for this? So we remote. You want the little? Yeah, let me see. The what? Okay. <laughs> but I know there's a lot of switch accessories. I just don't know. I can't play Super Mario Galaxy, it's just a Wii Remote, you know? Then that should just be consistent. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm wasting her food. Whoops. See, that's the thing. Because I sat, because I went by. <laughs> okay, he is actually using turn. I wonder if he gets full turn. Or if it's gonna be a little bit shorter like to match me. 
Or maybe it just didn't touch this fight at all. Or maybe it's just broken. Because his AI was written expecting a longer turn than he has. Maybe it's just broken. I bet they had something to do with this. I bet they did too. Whoa. I'm out of play area. I don't know where the hell I am in my house. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Ow! Elgin. I used to be sweet on a curve from here. Oh, way too. I wonder if Vlod is still making it me with the juniper berries. <laughs> what am I gonna do? 14 strength. That's pretty sweet. All right, one little hitch, apparent, uh, because this was using the new uh, JavaScript feature is const, it's block scoped. So if you put your sprite's processor in an if block, it's no longer available. Uh, so I think I've fixed that, but it's still, that takes forever to run. So I don't remember if we had like an actual problem here. I know biome was the old one. Or actually, I was, I was kind of just kind of in the middle of stuff there. Uh, or maybe I was just looking at it and saying, where's my moving attribute? <clears throat> uh... All right, so we are back to is a process premise chain, it can fail. Uh, oh no, wrapper should be fine. It is specifically the biomes which don't exist anymore. So we've got a set of changes. which are going to look something like this. So this is in forward order, so we need some sort of our... Oh, I was looking at what my old biomes look like, which had um, like ID, map chance, and remove, and uh, that yeah, moving. I guess this is sort of biomes, but I was able to just sort of jam the biome in there before. Okay, this is object removed, which would have to, you'd have to go through and remove it from all biomes where it currently exists. So we've already got a biomes. Okay, so those are there. It's biome ID. Now I just Removes are so kind of a special case. So normally, well, then we won't have a biomes list. So, uh, actually, yeah, we just eliminate the case. We don't deal with it. Uh, The less indentation, the better. Uh, 
All right, so now I've got an ID, we've got a map chance, we've got biomes, and the other attributes will be there if present. So biome objects, okay, so we were, we were parsing IDs. All right, so now that was just the biome ID. Well, we can, each one has multiple biome IDs. Um, uh, if biomes, biome ID does not exist, Biomes, biome ID is I think that's the only attribute I really care about. Maybe I could try to get the effective date. Uh oh wait. Uh we actually have chi yeah, we oh no, we have versions. I forgot about that. Uh, so that's a, yeah, that's a change set, not an item. Uh, so that's already an int. Do I need the versions on this? Um, I, actually, yeah, each one of these is we want to build up complete biomes for them. So it's not going to be just the biomes array. Uh, this, these are all going to be unique, but we do need a current copy of what the biomes look like. Uh, we need a, this is the date of change. So it's like, well, the changes would happen up until that time, but they'd only be published at the, so their start of acti effectivity. Is it date.pars? Yes. And you're going to have your biomes. Which is going to start out as a complete copy of what we know about the biomes right now. Uh, and then we have, I doubled my spawn changes. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so this is like more of a version. Uh, now, if I track dates again, I should also be able to get an MS end on this, uh, go from one to the next. Or maybe I should just take these and add some attributes to them. So that's where this kind of stuff starts coming into play. <clears throat> so that uh, updates the ID. Uh, I need to deal with you later, but not yet. Uh, and then for each biome where we add an uh, add or edit an object, uh, let's see biome dot objects before. What's well, just a straight up array, which means we probably want to keep a straight up array. Biomes BI, I uh, need to see if the object exists. If obj.id equals change.id. Uh, this is going to be, if we do it this way, it's going to map. And I could build up a ID map and then just turn it back into a array for ease of processing later. Uh, so that chance moving, yada, 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 yada. Uh, and then removed. Mm, this is more of a filter. Uh, over all by yeah, yeah, biomes are still in array. But we then have to go through all of your objects. No, oh, Mr. Object's down here. <clears throat> uh, okay, no, biomes filter. No, biomes. For each, biome.objects.filter. Uh, and we things that are.
Okay, so what we were building before. Uh, oh. Oh, I might need to deal with removing grid placements. Well, no, because this, this was a total thing. Uh, so this is something that has to happen at the end of every version. Every biome for every version. So that was a singular biome. Uh, oh no, wait, uh, no, every, every version for that version go through all of the changes. Then we have to go through all of the, well, no, this version. The grid placement isn't necessarily a global thing. It's actually kind of a version grid placements thing. So this is all of the grid placeable things. Good placements. <clears throat> Permitted biomes index of Well, I'm, I have to have the biome specific. Well, I might have been relying on global uh, biome objects here. Yeah, I was relying on global biome objects. So that's going to be another interesting bit. So if we do this per version, well, that's the title change, we're not going to get the name changes that affect spacing. That didn't happen very much.
This might be okay. It's pretty much just an existence check anyway. However, now we don't have our, our biomes. Oh, uh, version biomes is a copy of that. And I'm going and using this. Uh, so maybe we actually need to kind of do this at the end. There was another, another missing change. Uh, so that we build all that up and then we have version biomes as a copy of that. Oh yeah, because once as soon as we get a grid object, every time we process this, we're gonna hit it again. But no, only if it changes. No, but it, we're processing the biomes, not the changes. I guess I could process it on the changes. Eh, but I also have to filter them out. Change that biomes. Uh, you know, we've got to change ID here. So we could just skip adding it in that case. Uh, we've just got a straight up BI here. And that's just an early return. So that the grid placeable things will never get put in there. So now you don't actually have to filter. You know what? I always forget about this. Well, this is actually a reduce. Oh, aren't we fancy? Accumulator current value. And this is not, yeah, it's not a reset of objects, it's not filtering, this is just uh, function, wait, okay, you do pass initial value, but I think the default is probably zero.
All right, and now uh, verbiomes. Um, the only reason we would be hurt by doing this before creating the version or would be we'd end up copying the total chance weight and sort of recreating it every time. All right, chances of this working out of the gate are just about zero, but we can check on our data. Okay. Da, 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 da. I need files programming one life one tech public I guess I do kind of want well not I don't really use the it's the only thing I really need is the objects. I mean, it, well, it'd be nice to have a copy of their stuff. All right, so I had a version of you. I'm just gonna shuffle that later. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So we could probably like see just how work out a couple of errors processing this one. Biome.object is undefined. Easy one. Reduce of empty array with no initial value. Uh, I don't think that should be actually empty. But specifying the initial value is, well, I mean, that is, this should never actually be empty. That means we've messed something up. I mean, putting the v value probably there in good in general. Oh, we only did one of these? What? Oh, and then it blows up doing, complying to complete this process. Okay, so biomes, there's only one biome with no objects. That doesn't seem promising. What do we do for you? Oh, I this doesn't insert if it didn't exist. <laughs> mm.
So maybe this like working copy. Should have objects as a hash. And then we'll edit it as we copy into each each thing. Which actually makes things a bit well, it makes things simpler here. <laughs> but now we need biome objects. Uh, well, I know that's for each biome. Okay, are you done? I think you're done. I guess I didn't actually look at my results. We've got moving objects. We've got left blocking objects. All right, so this is our new static. Uh, we had our old static. We had, well, I probably should have done that because there's like a bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, like, sprites has all the bits in it, which we're not using right now. Just click. Uh, I'm not doing anything with sounds. The rest, maybe. Okay, well, I just emptied them. Uh, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> I guess the easiest way to do this is going actually going to be to push this down. So biomes, well, it still has to be a map. Which is why I was thinking, oh, well, we'll just do that, but what do you call it then?
Check dot values. And I guess in the parentheses. And I guess you almost might as well do that. Except that this gives me the handy array here. Oops. Biome's snapshot. And we messed that up beyond where this was fixed. Yep, no, we had that. Juice of empty array with no initial value. Which is why we're trying to get in here. Object zero again. Empty array. Oh, right. Uh, that's why we're fixing it to objects. So we got a version, we got removed. So we've got a change. Its change is going to be for every biome in its biomes. If it wasn't a grid placement. Better update to biome index. I mean, zero is probably the only thing that existed at this time. Okay, 33, 2, 33. Oh, wait. That would help. Okay, 267. Oh, I see a lot of undefines in there. What? What? And I think we do have to sort these two. Can't convert undefined biomes.object. No, oh, right.
Uh, right, because of the objects in each one. Object map chance. Biomes. Uh, okay. Now I wonder if I got my order wrong, and it's actually you do parameters, and then a later parameter is okay. We don't have help for that. No, just JSON that strigify object. Okay, that seems fine. That seems fine. So what is this garbage? Oh, total chance weight is messed up. What the? <sighs> All right, we're not getting undefined errors anymore. Uh, man, we're still getting object, object. No, that's the for each. Wait. So what the heck is the initial value if you don't specify it? Oh, but now I've specified it. Okay, that's a little bit slow. Oof. How? If you don't specify it, you get the first two objects. Well, that's if we were if we mapped it to map chance, we might be able to do that. Okay, total chance wait. So it has fallen out that these are in sorted order. I don't know if that's guaranteeable with the way we're doing stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's, I guess that's one disadvantage with constantly converting it to array. You're going to have to restore it every time. Uh, 
And we're going to sort by object ID. Uh, okay, that is backwards. Biomes, objects. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got this local versions and no biome information. Uh, so this is local. This is Gonna go there. Yeah, so we can like sort of use this. We can put in a placeholder. Uh, oh, I need access to global biomes. Uh, yeah. So that's not going to work. It's kind of like a running, running state. Change that biomes. And just a little scoping concern here. Uh, we should see we have something. This is going to kind of like redo how we do maps in general. Okay, so uh, it's a lot of jungle trees. I don't think we tapped that many rubber trees. And you can't touch swamp trees. So that seems to be at least working uh no Static old probably won't last too terribly long. We have not integrated, we've not really integrated either of these things yet. Uh, one thing I did want to look at, uh, I need a town that's gonna be more of a 
Or I think it might be specifically during changes. Hmm. Well, that one worked. They used to have... A problem with tile borders. Wait. No, we something else has gotten messed up. Some flint just turned into trees. Uh So I need my final state of this and I need to compare that to my other My other export. Uh, so biomes zero dot objects. Twenty eight items. A, uh, no, I do kind of need total map chance too. Although that wouldn't, that was recorded. I just recalculated it. I'm thinking that might have been not. This is why I kept this. Not 17 before. Fifteen point two. Fifteen point two. Thirty one, thirty two, one, thirty three, one. Thirty six. What's thirty six? Uh, I left the names out of the, this version of it. Well, I, I know I can maybe know what it is. Maybe there was a time when that was true. Added in V19. And then it got moved into uh, planes. Uh, this is static old, static old, oh, oh, hi. Object 19, biome 0, 136, 36, biome 0, 2, okay, map, I don't consider that this is a full replacement. Uh, in fact, we could probably see that in our natural state here. Yeah, carrots. 
Oh, and rabbit. Oh, yeah, there was a bunch of stuff that used to spawn here and then didn't. Okay. Probably, probably zero is the only thing at first. So we have to go through and... Hmm. Remove it from every biome that's not in its list. If it removed, easy. Uh, yeah, we can't just do change biomes. And we can't just iterate through the existing biomes because we have to make sure they exist. So we might have to do something like, well, removed might still be a special case. I possibly could have done removed from biomes. Uh, uh. Mm. Yeah, I haven't handled the negative case of this yet. Biome if change dot biomes Hey new duck, how's it going? If it's negative one. Uh then It's going to look like this. Uh, do you do one tech? Uh, whereas you, okay, then what node app server are you talking about? Oh no, you're, you, okay, you are doing good. You are working on doing good. Thanks for asking, not thanks for working on my server. <laughs> you are working on your node app server while watching. Reading too fast there. Uh, all right. So then this is biome. And if it's not there, if it is, we need to update it. If it's not, we need to remove it so there are no more carrots in the grasslands. 15.2 looks a little bit more reasonable. Uh, those are still not the right objects. 
Yeah, and I, I, it was it was more for um, Mac Vim, like give you like copy paste integration and some nice stuff. So what is so our total is right? Maybe our order is off. May yeah. All right, so our old file, where things were generating correctly. Was 30, 32, wait, map chance zero. Oh. So there is a game called One Hour, One Life. Uh, which published like some, which, well, for one thing, the source is open, so I can get at things like map generation. Uh, and at one point I had hacked up the uh, actual game engine to output that. Uh, these biomaps, have, they started start becoming random, so I'm generating them with the same algorithm. Uh, and it publishes like life log data uh, and stuff, which you can, uh, Arc might be okay. This is going to be a little bit older. Oops, it started playing, which wasn't happening right there. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of see where everybody was. You can kind of see how things played out. And one of the things that fell out of uh, the map becoming random is... He's, the developer's actually publishing some placement logs so you can ah, so you can kind of see how things develop over time. But yeah, it started out as just leaflet tiles. Which maybe somewhere around here. Uh, which were sometimes just generating the, the pixel per biome, and in, in some cases we're actually grabbing screen grabs from here, which now I have updated to a slightly more recent version of things, so I don't know if this is going to be an exact match anymore. I might have to tweak it so I'm doing whatever version I had before. Yeah, so this is, actually, this is probably both. Uh, uh, oh, no, I am doing object layers. And because of the differences, you can actually see just how, just how wrong it is now right now. <laughs> that turned into flint instead of a tree. So I'm actually not sure why these zeros should have really mattered that much. But I should probably treat map chance zero as it's just not in the list anymore. You know, got a bunch of thousands that were probably oopsies. I should almost treat that as removed from a perspective here. Uh, so how do we handle that? given that we have that data. Uh, if probably we just want to say, ooh, nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm kind of on the lookout for new games. All right, so we're still getting wrong objects here. Still got total 
Okay, so first off, looks like it's an actual game so far. Oh, that's interesting movement. <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit more normal. Oh, that's like an ASCII voxel engine. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's voxel per se, but... Uh, you just take geometry and you render it as... Was he, like, flying there? It's kind of hard to tell. Probably just the angles. Oh, no, yep, yep. A little bit of, mo little bit of momentum. Interesting. Uh, so far, it's just a map. Oh, is that? Oh, uh, yep, that's cliffs. Wow, those uh, roof textures are interesting. I guess it's always diagonal uh, for whenever it's filling that. Well, I see now there's some that were just um, the, the, the side view. So that's... It's pretty fancy. Ah. Okay. Ah, there's an island over here. Okay. And reflections? Wow. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I saw that. So are there any particular tricks you're you're using for the for the for for the high frame rate here. I mean, you have to do your your at some level rendering stuff. Okay, it looks like maybe the buildings have. Well, they, I don't know if they have fixed rotations or if they uh, are just the grid is sort of forcing them to do that. The ASCII grid. Because uh, I, I know I'm definitely not doing things efficiently, but uh, I do have a fair amount of stuff being drawn to screen, and it gets kind of chunky sometimes. Okay, so we no longer have spurious entries in here. I don't know why those leave. Oh, they could still get um, jackpot boosts, though, even if they were spawn chant zero. That'd be an interesting way to make a super rare item, though. All right, 30, 1, 32, 1, 33, 1, 49, 1, 
52, 63, 1, 65, 1, 101, 133, 1, 36, 1, 153, 1, 211, 804, 805, 1140, 1130, 3030. No, 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 they both got 3030. 1140, 805, 140, 3030. Oh dear. Uh, well, no, this is a slightly different version of things. So. Let's go back to. And it might possibly even be different than this. Okay, I saw some trees go to stumps, so that's a good start. This area is just not generally as dense. I know we were seeing like some sapling issues over here. Okay, so these are right. So this might just be a, a time issue. I wish I don't remember exactly when my other map snapshots were taken, but this might have just been some tweaks in. Well, no, there's no changes in that biome that I can detect. Uh, okay, well, now those are matching up fairly good. Uh, I'm not in a, yeah, now you see this is not. Oh, I wonder if these are... Oh, and there's a wolf. Oh, if it's mountains or things going off of mountains, then it could be the bear cave change. Uh, although I don't think that would affect my start location up here. Yeah, of course this is a little bit of a data. It could be off biome objects. Uh, but for this, I actually need to turn off that default generation. All right, well, we're, we've parsed new files. We're on our branch. Reading version. Well, uh, yeah, it could be changed. Okay, so the quickest, so my like my default selection now. What would that What would that look like? Ah, uh, that's the JSON file. Uh, 
we would want yeah I haven't looked at what the what the what the version was Map, 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 map. I've closed all those windows. I redirected them. So this was circa. Uh, I don't know when I actually generated these, but anywhere back around here used to be doing just fine. 2018. Oh, yeah, not a whole lot of data changes in that time frame. Uh, circa 124. For ver dot id equals one two four. Just to prove that we got something, biomes is undefined. Oh, if there were no spawn changes, it wouldn't show up in this list at all. So I need the last... That might... That's probably still in... Static old. Oh, right, but these can be empty. I actually need the, which I probably have open. Static old, static. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of double used IDs here. 33, 61, I should probably go, the, go from the end. D six seven two six one two five nine two eighteen. No, was it one twenty four? No, I I I went back a year. <laughs> uh, Nineteen oh seven. So circa 247 is about what I was typically looking at when I was testing this. Oh, 30, 30, 30, 30 is the spring. Well, I think I, that may have been something that I, that I certainly saw in there. I think that was the bear cave. So we want 232. Uh, and probably I should set up a, a way to select these by date. Uh, I could, you know, I could do a second pass my versions and try to put end dates in there. I could probably build that up as we go to. Uh, oops. Biomes is undefined. Uh, 
Oh. For one. Undefined has no properties. All right. So what seems to be your problem here? Array with one entry with biomes. Uh, I guess I typoed something here. Versions.filter. And we're doing biome zero. Well, yeah, because it was just our first biome. I guess I didn't save. But even with time appropriate data, uh, we're still getting errors, which is bizarre because this was working perfectly. Uh, now I used to have this. Actually, just making my object layer do that would help a bit. Uh, and, but this is where we have to stop and investigate. Uh, so that was not as simple as getting the right time. So our total chance weight is right. Our array appears to be in order. Maybe one of the other biomes is off and we're getting some drift from that. That spawn changes, this is the old one. So we've checked the first one. So let's do total chance, because that'll show up any changes right off. 710999, lovely precision. 3.675. New deck. Uh, yeah, uh, I might need to go back and see if I could load this. Well, for quick and dirty testing. Just grab that. Jam that in. Uh, okay, so your IDs are off. Although it should be ordered. So we can just go through, hmm, they should be in the same order. Uh, 
Uh, we actually need the index for this. So we're gonna have use a keyword. And we're also gonna need this for each item. So this is like a kind of a zip operation. Uh, maybe this for loops it has to be more appropriate for what we're doing here. Uh, so I guess I need to just check some things. Uh, yeah, that probably removes some some dependencies. And it does make it easy. Uh, but yeah, I... Hmm. Yeah, I've done, I mostly do kind of bespoke styling for that stuff. Uh, I found like a super, super lightweight grid that I've used in one or two places. Or on the Elm stuff, I just use Elm UI. Well, well where I use the framework at all, yeah. Um. Anyway, it's a quick visual check. Oh, actually, the value in this, oh. The value in the file included the springs. But I had to take that out to get accurate. Yeah. Which means, which means that we're not properly removing... Right, I'm looking at my output, which should have had that removed. But I changed how this works. So this much can get taken care of here. But if it's a grid placement, we just don't want to deal with it. Uh, which, ooh, we can actually do that. Hmm. We can detect if it's a grid placement up front. But we do need to do... Oh, and then change has a list of biomes. Uh, it wouldn't allow us to remove things. Oh. 
And there are times where he think he removed springs from jungles after they were first published. Oh, well, this is updating that grid placement. So that means permitted biomes is just... Well, it's index of... And I don't think grid placements existed until after jungle biomes, so it's a little bit of a cheat. Equals change dot biomes dot map. I'm almost going to have to like keep this here and then remap it. I don't know. Okay, we broke something. BI is not. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Which I guess if it's not defined, because, oh, yeah. So actually, we could use BI here. And I was in an I loop, so that would have been kind of not great anyway. All right. And suddenly, yeah, so now our, our, some of our, chan our ranges are different. Because we removed a bunch of things. Uh, get rid of you, uh, that is pretty fine. Ish. All right, so that was definitely the fix. So now, one of our complications is that we used to have a world where we only cared about biomes. Now we're going to need, like, that layer for every version. And... Hmm. And then this map, I almost have to review... what the changes were to s decide how long we want to call that relevant. Because there are the springs. This is actually post-spring. Come to think of it. Yeah, two, three, two. Oh, yep. And then he dropped the frequency of bear caves. And I forget what this was. That was probably barrel cactus. Dug barrel cactus, rather. Then the desert biomes. Huh, yeah, something in desert.
Oh no, this was adding dug barrel cactus, and then oops, that wasn't supposed to spawn. Okay, so this map would be good up till there. Uh, possibly the version where I actually had the names in here would have been useful. Three thousand one. Uh, that's an object of two eighteen. Electrum ore. Uh, Four twenty seven. That probably. Now that's a pretty rare spawn, so it would. I don't know if I'm going to see it here. Uh, I, mean, I could probably set up an object finder, but. That's a pretty minor change, though. Two thirteen. This may have been like sugarcane, wild pepper plant. Yeah, so that's going to change things a fair bit in the jungle, which is in our images. So probably that's uh, that's about the limit for when we could show the images here. Uh, somewhere I've got Jungle Age. Hmm. I missed. Okay, yeah, that's been around for a while. Mm, maybe I should actually be identifying versions. So from 2.13, so before 2.13, 2.18, 2.17, Yeah, so in there we could use the image layer. Okay, so this was giving us biome generation for time. Uh, that, well, this is biome generation. Although we have to, uh, well, this is kind of changes over time. Uh, which is going to mean objects, uh, biome defs, and generation options. Uh, let's see, limits for screenshot layers, which as long as we've got it up, is from 2.13 um, Uh, which actually puts it um, well, I guess really like you know especially if I want to do these by versions or by dates but Versions is sort of more accurate to what we're actually doing. Although dates would, we could say that dates would just always apply if we don't get data.
So that's our biome generation for time. Now we've got, you know, we've got our worlds list, which right now is a very manual thing, uh, which is being backported into the selectable layers. Uh, so we have to, to remove selectable layers before we can create that many layers and have it make any kind of sense. And I kind of got part way through that. But I need to make sure that I have ways to select these. Or I need to have a like a base layer that bundles up all the time based selections here. And maybe that top selection turns into like main crucible. It's kind of about all you can do with it. <clears throat> uh, if I go back, I could go back to that server list if I extended it appropriately. And then the time would control stuff within that layer group to pick all of this stuff. Uh, I guess I could, hmm. I could probably still do something with keeping the biome, biome layers themselves common. Although I think I was reusing parameters for those. Biome generation for time, worlds dot for each. World biome layer. Right, because we do that up front. And then object generation, we kind of have to wait till we've loaded objects. Uh, and to, oh. Well, the, bi yeah, the biome layer will be fine. That's for each world. We need to do this. Well, biome generation is by time, so that's fine. Hmm. I might actually have enough data to do my biome maps from first principles. As you sort of fill in the biomes based on when objects appear for most of history. But yeah, we're essentially going to have a map per version. And you could make a map that would sort of update itself. 
And you have your object your object layer that redrew itself, such as my other layers might be a little bit more lightweight than completely changing layers out. But I mean, conceptually, they are sort of different maps. Well, I'm going to keep using the world. Hmm. And I might want to... I need to review worlds versus arcs versus versions and all that stuff. Well, arcs don't necessarily correlate with versions. Anyway, I have to stop for lunch at some point, and this could be kind of a big rewrite. Which is less than I was hoping to do today. I actually wanted to see some of that, but I kind of got side sidetracked by a, a little, little issues in our source data. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who hosted me. Oh, see you, new duck. Uh, current plan, and I do have to. I do have to check on some stuff. But current plan is to be back. Uh, for some oxygen not included this afternoon, and this is about when I tend to stream. Sometimes I get caught in projects, sometimes I arrive up early. Uh, so I don't know what you're working on. But it's something. So I don't know. If, I don't remember if this is going to be like games or web or what. Uh, but somebody I've watched before is Tranquilzilla. So for the rest of that cool to hang out, let someplace cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye, and until next time.